Hello everyone, welcome to Baidu's Exam Prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform. So in this post guidance program, uh, we are now coming again live to discuss the information regarding the MTech admission in the IIT Kharagpur. So here I will again discuss with you all that information procedure, uh, sorry, uh, admission procedure in the IIT Kharagpur and the information brochure is already there as I have already discussed about the different IITs like IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay also already discussed in our channel. So here is the MTech admission procedure in the IIT Kharagpur. So let's uh, go through it once and uh, we will again discuss the what are the different programs there, what are their deadlines and uh, what are their cutoffs okay in the previous year. So here you can see that they have given certain point that is the information about the various department they have given and uh, now they have given some general information for the applicants and also the cutoff of the last year okay so there are how many number of departments are there in the IIT Kharagpur so again if you read all these three before taking the admission in any IIT you will be feeling uh, more connected to that particular IIT. You will feel like that it is my own IIT. I am going to study there. I am going to make my career from there. So you will have that feeling, okay? Like at our home, when we come to our home, we have that feeling that it is my home. Like that, if you read more about the IITs, if you know what are the different projects running, then you will feel more connected to that particular IIT, okay? So, just before taking the admission right now obviously no need to discuss all these things because right now there is a uh, application procedure we are going to discuss once your admission is confirmed then read the information brochure of that particular IIT. So here are the departments the departments of let's talk about the EC and EE. So, departments of chemical, departments of civil, departments of computer, electrical. So, departments of electrical, we have machine drive and power electronics, control system engineering, power and energy system, instrumentation and integrated electronics, signal processing and machine learning. These are the five branches where you can take the admission under the department of electrical. And department of electrical and uh, electronics, communication engineering, you have microelectronics, RF and microwave communication and signal processing and vision and intelligent system. So these are the four different branches and then what are the different branches where you can take the admission. The department of computer science is also there. Okay. Department of physics. Then what are the area of research? Material science center. All these things are there and now we will wireless uh, communication and network also the EC students can apply. I will tell you what are the different departments where the EC students can apply and the different departments where the double E students can apply. Okay. Coming to the general information for the applicants. Yes. So these are the important which is uh, for us right now. Regular applicants with the assistantship means if you want a stipend then you should have the GATE scorecard. BTEC students graduated from the IIT should have minimum CGPA of 8 or above sponsor applicant. So in this three way, you can take the admission in the IIT Kharagpur for MTech, NCP or PhD. So important note, based on the availability of seats, the final round of allotment and additional round of allocation may be conducted to fill the vacant seats. The modalities of the additional round will be announced later in the JMP website. Eligibility and the assistantship for the regular applicant through the gate. So you should have the gate scorecard, you should have the BTEC degree, okay, or MTech degree if you want to apply for the PhD program. And uh, the general category student should have the 60% minimum, and for SCST PWD, the 55% is the minimum for your qualifying degree, awarding degree. And uh, CGPA will not be converted to percentage if the degree awarding institutes provide the mark in the CGPA system. Okay, admission to the reserve category candidates will be as per the government norm and uh, application fees is 500 if you are applying for the different program then it is again separate should be there 
12,400 stipend ship will be provided. Okay. So here you can see students in the two year MTech program receives an assistant ship of 12,000 per, per month uh, and 31,000 per month which who will enroll in the PhD program and after, for the first two years and after the third year, uh, after the two years starting from the third year you will get 35,000. Okay, the application fees I have discussed and when you uh, receive an offer from IIT Kharagpur based on your GATE scorecard and if you accept and freeze from the COAP portal, then you have to pay a SIT booking fees of rupees 30,000 as per the existing rule of the institute. Okay. These are the choices of courses uh, we have. And uh, post admission information is you can go through it and the application will be starting from the application. The application will start from the 3rd April. The IIT, Khadak, uh, IIT Khadakpur has the application form starting from the 3rd of April and it will you can fill that uh, form up to 25th of April and also you need to register yourself in the COAP portal. Okay, so don't forget to uh, before applying the MTech program in any institute, either it is IIT Kharagpur, IIT Delhi, etc., you have to first register yourself in the COAP. The website is already given here, and then you can see and you can go. And this is the gateoffice.ihkgp.ac.in JMP. So from here, you will get all the update regarding the MTech admission. Everything you have to scan means every document you have to scan and then that is to be uploaded. There is no need of hard copy to be sent to the office. So these are the fees of the IIT Kharagpur. And uh, the dates have not been announced. So 3rd April is the opening date, 25th is the end date. And uh, what will be your first round, when the window will close, when the offer will come. Uh, all these things will be announced here in this particular website. So you can go to this website and you can bookmark this website so that you don't need to search it again and again. It will come as a tab in, uh, in the browser and then you can directly go into that particular website. Okay. You can keep these websites as a bookmark. So these are the different uh, codes where you can take the admission. Gate main papers, okay. This is ECEECS, right? So these are the main branches, and uh, these are the additional branches qualifying degree, BTEC, B. and these are again the gate paper you should have. Gate paper code, gate paper code you already know for your branch. Yes, this is very important for us. That is your cutoff. That is the cutoff gate score for EC students, if I say. Then it is 733, 612, 637, 658 for the general category and likewise you can see for the other category as well. For the double E, it is 718, 694, 664, 739 and 725. As we have seen that there were 5 specialization in the electrical branch and 4 specialization in the electronic branch. So this is EC234, these are the 4 branches, uh, 2345, 4 branches. And for each branch, that is EC2 was like microelectronics. So the cutoff for the microelectronics was 733. Then EC3 was suppose uh, you are uh, RF and microwave engineering, then it is 612. Then EC4 is suppose uh, visual uh, communication engineering, then it is 637. EC5 is your uh, visual and intelligence system, then it is 658. So like that. Okay. So this is where you can apply. Okay, so let's see if I am a EC student, see if I am an EC student, then I can apply for the microelectronics and VLSI design with the code of EC. So EC student can apply in the different department like this is one microelectronics and VLSI embedded control and software that is 81. 81 you can also apply because this is EC paper they can they will they are accepting. Okay, and degree, you should have the degree in the A degree that is the degree was also given in the information brochure above that 
what are the graduation degree is required uh, to take the admission in this particular uh, specialization okay and discipline is again ec so any other ec is no for double e the double e that is electric transportation is also there all electric vehicle we are now uh, the going towards the verge of the electrical electric vehicle now so that is electric transportation when you will where you will study about that uh, power energy etc so this is one another branch for double year instrumentation student for ec we have rf and microwave communication and signal processing vision and intelligent system and machine drive when that is for double e double e double e double e double e ec can also take admission in the signal processing and the machine learning again the degree should be a get score plus interview so for this particular branch uh, whether you are from electrical or electronics you have to appear in the interview also and for the branches like rf and microwave communication vision intelligence there will be directly merit list will be uh, created by the it kharagpur on the basis of your get score so nothing extra is required but for these branches the gate is score plus interview are required industrial engineering and management also you can take the admission uh, that is ec branch the direct gate is score you can take the admission no interview wireless communication and network again no interview only gate score card is required and the degree is a so biomedical will also have electrical branch and medical imaging and information that is also have electrical branch any other ec okay so here you can see maybe uh, no so these are the different uh, uh, programs where you can take the admission along with the cut off marks so that is it from my side and all the very best to Uh, you are uh, M Tech admission. I hope that uh, you will get your desired IIT according to your GATE score. Thank you.